This is Rick with Shooter 1721. Look what we got here, the Seneca Dragon Claw 50 Cal. Woo, a lot of things special about this gun. A couple things that uh, that it definitely does, it shoots 50 cal, that's, that's really cool. But guess what else it shoots? 50 cal air bolts. Woo, at 460 plus feet per second. Man, they, they are humming out of here. It's amazing. A couple features about the gun, it has two power settings. It actually has a low for the first pull and then the whole way back is high so that puts you on high power you got 500 cc's here you got uh overall about 42 inches overall the weight of it's probably i'm gonna say around eight pounds trigger pull is one thing that is with the dragon claw it is a big bore so the, the trigger pull is at seven and a half pounds that's right i said seven and a half pounds um but overall the accuracy at 50 yards what you'll see today in this video you're going to see lots of things. There's many things that we're going to cover. We're going to cover the chronograph. We're going to be shooting some steel plates at the range. We're going to be shooting uh, some targets here for accuracy. We're going to show the Air Venturi 210s here. We're going to shoot the air bolts. You'll see the chronograph numbers for that. We want to run through all that kind of stuff. So that's what you're going to see today in today's video. And uh, maybe I'll even take a shot at a playing card or a soda can or something like that just for fun. But... That's enough talking about this. Let's shoot this thing. Okay, here we are at the bench with the Dragon Claw 50. Woo! Come on, man. So what we got here, we got some Air Venturi 210s right here. And you can see them sitting here. So you can watch. Cock that straight back. Okay. Breach is open. Drop around in there. Push it in. Make sure it's in nice and tight. Make sure that door is closed. That's really important. So I... I have this kind of half shot in. We're not shooting for like dead center accuracy. What we're going to do is shoot for group. So we'll see what happens here. And I'll shoot three shots. And we're right at about 53 yards right here. So we'll see what we got. All right. Okay. Well, you can see your first two shots down there. They're touching. And then one thing that happens on the third shot, like most big bores, is you do have that drop off. And you can see that that dropped off. And, of course, I'm nowhere near. I'm just using the black target as my aim point. The first two are touching. That's the accuracy it has at 50, 60 yards. I'm going to say on hunting uh, pigs and deer, if you're going to hunt a deer, you better be at the 40 or 50-yard mark. I wouldn't say much further than that for a deer with... Um, with the two tens here, I think that they shoot outstanding. And you can see how that one dropped away from the other two. That's a standard drop. I could have adjusted with my um, mill dots and it just adjusted so I could put one right in that grouping also. But the Dragon Claw is very accurate, especially with the two tens here, the Air Venturi uh, two tens. I find this to be very accurate. We also have um, air bolts. So we now have the air bolts too. And we're going to be shooting some of those at a target, a deer size target also. But, um, well, that's enough talking. Let's grab those air bolts. All right, well, here we are for the fun part of this video. So you turn your fletchings around like that, like this, like that. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, you wanna make sure the whole way down. And then right here, you wanna make sure you definitely have uh, your cocking lever is always forward, not ready. All right, let's 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 take a shot. Ryan, I'm going to kind of guess where this is shooting. All right, let's see. 210 grains, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, I'll do a, I'll do a couple mil hole because that should be the difference. All right. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> How's that for dead center? That'll work. Come on, man. Wow. Well, there you go. Air bolt something, man. Well, there you go. 400. Did you see that? 460 feet per second. That slammed right in. That is dead center, too. 
I like it. Okay, well, here we are for some slug. We're going to shoot some current grass. We just filled it to 3,000. And we're going to shoot these Air Venturi 210s. And we're just going to see how she does across the chronograph. And then walk it down from there. Six four day. Okay. Shot two. Yeah, chronograph shaking. It has good consistency, you know that. I mean that's that's pretty good. All right. There we go. Okay. shooting pretty good I mean it's staying up there in that range started at 640 that is not bad at all and that's plenty you know you're looking at your foot pounds of energy that's not bad at all let me shoot one more and uh, we'll see what we get see if it drops off yet I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going until I get to the 550 mark, Ryan. I think that's what we'll do. Or I run out of ammo. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna quit with that one right there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I shot a lot of rounds through this thing, uh, messing around with it. I actually, have one left. So. Wow. Well, there's your shot string right there. You can see um, we'll run the numbers for you and post it up there in post-production so you can see what it, what it started out as. And uh, Ryan will put that in there for you. But you can see, I don't know, that's pretty consistent. The Dragon Claw, I would say if, if I were to talk about this gun as far as a hunting gun, I'm going to say a 40 to 50 yard gun. And if you're shooting air bolts at 460 feet per second with that kind of accuracy, you're probably looking at something that's, you know, I would still stay in the 40 to 50 yard. I wouldn't shoot further than that. I'd just keep it right there. So, you know, let's, when it comes to big game, you want to be ethical with all your shots. So let's just keep it there. That's just my opinion, everybody. All right. Well, let's give this some final thoughts. Everything that, you know, that it was said in the, re in the reviews leading up to this and, and what they said it was going to do, it was 230 foot-pounds. It was shooting air bolts at 460 feet per second. And, you know, I hope you get 
when you get to see uh, in this video, you will get to see us uh, shooting those steel plates at 50 plus yards and uh, laying the smack down. Now, a couple things I want to discuss here at the end of the video after testing this and really running through it with you. I think that uh, the Dragon Claw is your mid range uh, big bore. And what I mean by that, that's your 40 and 50 yard. You know, you're looking at two tens traveling in the 650, 680 range, you know, on your first shot, which is plenty of power to poke a hole in a pig and a deer. But I wouldn't be going out past, personal opinion uh, for me, I wouldn't be going out past that with this. And the air bolts, the same, they are very accurate. I've seen plenty of videos. I've seen Rossi from American Air Gunner take down some deer, you know, with the Seneca, but I think that was the double wing. And I think they had to dragon call for his dad, but uh, don't quote me on all that, but it was very effective. So my final thoughts on you got mid range power right here in your big bore. This is Rick with Shooter 1721. Thanks for watching. Look what we got here, the Seneca dragon call. And we got a Leapers UTG 2 to 16. We got a Cola, which I'm going to take a shot at. Then I got a playing card. I'm testing this ammo. I got about 40 yards. You can see that. And we're just down here testing this out, getting it set up for a review. This is an Instagram, Facebook post. I want to thank Aragon Depot for sending this. Come on, man. All right. We're going to go back and uh, see. We're dialing it in. We're getting there. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Woo, tore that dude in half. Here, let me get the car for you. Hold on. Oh, oh here you go. And of course, there's 50 cal of it missing there. Woo! Well, that's accurate. That first one was just, I, I don't have it quite dialed in. First one hit to the left, I'd say about an inch. And then the second one, I just compensated. Seneca Dragon Claw. I don't know. Splitting cards at 40 yards. Woo! Thanks for watching.